The man sitting in front of me is Peter Chitebe, co-founder and partner of uh, TGR Attorneys. He's one of the best mergers and acquisitions lawyers in the world. Now, you're a long way from the farms of your, of your youth. And during those days, you'd picked lychees and mangoes. But I imagine it was backbreaking work for a young boy. Yeah, it was uh, backbreaking, but uh, as a young child, uh, I had to supplement my parents' income and to make sure that I sustain myself and help, you know, support the family. Your dad was a farm worker and your mother was a domestic worker at that time. So we imagine you know, that money wasn't in abundance, which is why you had to resort to doing what you did. I like taking initiatives. I had to take initiative to improve empower myself and it's not every day that things come your way sometimes you have to be innovative you have to go all out to think and say what can i do legitimately and legally to sustain myself you know i must say thanks god i had some reasonable intelligence in the sense that i thought i could do better you know and um, with that to me it was a matter of saying where i am now does not necessarily define where I need to be in the future. And, and your story, insofar as how you navigated your work path, really is a, a, a metaphor for all of this. I see things that come my way, you know, be it challenges or not, as an opportunity to learn and try to improve from that situation. But um, you need to be also disciplined and actually have some bearings in your life in terms of where you want to go. And despite all those challenges, you try to remain focused in achieving your dream. And I think, yeah, it does work. Perseverance is one of the key things to make sure you you succeed in what you're aiming to do. You're living in a shack with your brother. You're learning all of these lessons. How do you pluck them from your experience into a playbook for success? I must confess it was hard because in the shack when it's cold, it's really cold. And when it's hot, it's really hot. And you contrast that with Brixton and Mayfair where I used to work. Uh, it was like a different environment. But to me, you know, I'm a dreamer. I will always say to myself, I also want to live in that nice house. I also want to drive that nice car. You don't see people who are doing better than you and resent them. Actually, you see the positive in them. Try to learn from them and improve and be better. You didn't only get the university pass that you needed back then, but you also got a bursary following that from the British yes, Council. And yes, again, another yeah. step was revealed. Some of these things didn't look real. It felt like I'm dreaming because it was difficult to be, ad you know, I said that I've been admitted to VITS, uh, which was the premier university at the time. And um, I have not been to a multiracial school or class my whole life. And here am I sitting among people uh, of different colors and races, speaking with different accents, and I couldn't speak English properly. But in one thing led to the next and i said oh i can do this i can do that i can do that i just kept on pushing myself harder and uh, i was quite surprised you know how the obstacles were falling by the wayside as i push forward and until you try you never know so i've said to people just keep on trying and how do you go from all of these life experiences to the place where you are recognized as one of the, the world's best mergers and acquisitions lawyers, a black lawyer from South Africa having had the history you had. When I went to Worksman's many years ago to join them as a candidate attorney, I made it clear to them that I wanted to do commerce. And that's how I found myself in the commercial space. I was told back then that my background sort of prohibited me from being a corporate lawyer because I don't come from a wealthy business family. So I asked the person, oh, did you know your name when you were born? He said, no. I said, someone taught you, isn't it? He said, yes. So, so you'll teach me the same way you were taught. And, mm. and until today, that has been my motto. So it's a matter of commitment, focus, and hard work. Do you save and do you invest? A lot. I bought my first car cash, and when I opened the account at Allied, I had seven rand. In two years, I had 25,000. And yet I was pushing trolleys and picking at pick and pay. So that's how good I am at saving. I know how to save and I invest wisely. Peter Shisebe, founder and director at TGR Attorneys. It's been wonderful talking to you. Uh, be blessed. Go well.